Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me, the ones who hate me. For if y'all wouldn't be able to do this. But last night, or yesterday afternoon, got to see Iowa versus South Carolina. Let's start out with this. Um, shout out to Caitlin Clark. I do feel like she has grown the sport. She definitely put more eyes on it. She brings in a, a, a different kind of audience that Wolf has filled up the seats for her. You know, little girls like her. She's in every commercial. And I get it. She was a face of not just college basketball, but women's college basketball. And, of course, the NCAA wanted them to win. I get it. You know, but, of course, they, they, well, they end up losing to Don Staley and her South Carolina's uh, Gamecocks, who went undefeated. Let's give a shout-out to Coach Staley on that. Her third national title two in the last three years so she down there building a dynasty and their team went perfect 38 and 0 so you rarely see that i know they said it's a 10 time in women's college basketball but that doesn't happen that often and i believe off the top of my head a lot of them was when uconn was winning so i mean caitlin clark went off Definitely put up a couple of threes. She's definitely going to be ready for the next level. But, you know, South Carolina, they were just the better team overall. Um, yeah, Caitlin Clark had a little bit of help. But, I mean, South Carolina, they loaded. They loaded. And this ain't their first run. They just went to the Final Four last year. And the year before that, they won it. And I believe they've only lost one game in two years. So, I mean, you know, I, Iowa was the underdog. But like Coach, Coach Staley says, she thinks Caitlin Clark called her one of the GOATs. She definitely is for women's college basketball. I will say this, though. The WNBA, they got a lot of young ladies that's, that's going to be playing. Please, please, please don't mess this up. Because y'all almost like how when Coach Prime took over at Jackson State. Now everybody about to see y'all flaws if your product ain't up to par. I hope y'all meeting up with Adam, Adam Silver, some NBA players, because you got characters, as I say, story building. You got story building. So you can easily, easily put your promotion behind this 2024 draft class. And y'all might need to call it the greatest of all time. Honestly, you need to get some hype around it. The NBA draft actually is in a few, what, two weeks, I believe. So they finna jump straight from college to the pros, which I mean, I mean, whatever. I guess the NBA do got summer league, huh? But let's really hope this. I'm assuming Caitlin's going to be drafted by the Indi Indiana team with Indiana Fever. So, um, you know. She need to be on a bigger market team, but the NBA not going to do a solid. WNBA, they're not going to throw a solid. Um, and I don't see Caitlin, like, forcing herself not to go to certain teams. The same thing with Angel Reese. I mean, she's going to bring her fan base to the WNBA. Yeah, they got Indiana Fever getting Caitlin Clark. Um, Cardoso, who was killing last night. She was going off in the game. She, they got her going number four to the Los Angeles Sparks. Uh, where Kate? I mean, where Angel reset on here? Well, according to CBSSports.com, they don't have her being a top ten pick. But regardless of what team she's going to, she's gonna bring her fan base. So don't. I'm telling y'all, don't mess this up. The players, please, and I keep saying this in all my videos. Don't start with this jealousy hating stuff. Don't start hating on them and saying they ain't earned it. And look, we get all that. They rookies, but they they bring they put money in y'all pockets. Do what Magic did when Michael came to the game. You know? And when Larry came came to the game. What they said, just saw Jesus in sneakers. So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Shout out to women college basketball and the WNBA. One more thing. Y'all better, I'm telling you, y'all better get on point. How in the world is college basketball far superior as far as fan base? Every, I bet at least 
over 10 million people watched that game last night. How many people watched the WNBA game? And when I say this and other people say like this, we're, we're, we're considered haters and all of that. No, we're just, we want the sport to grow, honestly. And there's a lot of money that can be made in that sport for everybody involved. It's just everybody has to be all in. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?